six weeks of total war, France has signed a separate armistice with Germany and Italy. Her troops were outnumbered. Her equipment was hopelessly inferior. The government of Monsieur Reno was displaced from office. In its place came the government of Pétain, an old, old man of 84. Under the terms of the armistice, the Pétain government agreed to give up all means of supporting France as an independent nation. All her armaments of every kind in France and the colonies, the men of Bordeaux agreed to hand over to the dictators or destroy. Her planes, her fleet and her ports, which would be used against her ally, Great Britain. Truly the spirit of France has died in these men of Bordeaux. But even treachery cannot quench in the hearts of men the flame that burns for liberty. We know that France has endured the agonies of death. Let us never forget when we face our own hour of trial that armistice will save none of the agonies. French and Polish troops have come to Britain to continue the struggle. As each country falls to the march of ruthless aggression, it leaves a remnant of its armies still to cherish the hope of ultimate victory. And it leaves behind under the heel of the tyrant a far greater mass of unhappy and desperate men awaiting only the hour to overthrow their monstrous oppression. Thank you.